Hey guys, Paul here, the Impulsive Culinarian, and a very important video today because we're gonna be making some incredible gluten-free pasta from scratch. Now there is one piece of special equipment that you're gonna need in order to make homemade pasta, whether it's gluten-free or not, okay, is one of these, a pasta maker. So there's all kinds of different varieties and the tougher, the better, all right? Because these things have to withstand a lot of force. So you basically, you jam your handle in there and you get cranking and you need around 15 people to help you if you're doing it for the first time. But once you get good at it and practice, like I have, you can do this freehand solo any day of the week. So a lot of them come with different sites, you know, types of sizes. You got one for spaghetti, and then you got these sort of wider ones, almost linguine, tagliatelle size. And then of course, the main roller, which is adjustable to get it to the width of lasagna noodles, which we have made in this house. So guys, I hope you invest in one of these. It's worth it, whether you're eating gluten-free or not. Always a great thing to do with the kids on the weekends. Let's get started and make some gluten-free pasta. So let's make the best gluten-free pasta you've ever tried homemade, starting with a half of a cup or 70 grams of corn flour. Also half of a cup or 90 grams of sweet white rice flour. Find that very important. Half of a cup or 75 grams of tapioca flour or tapioca starch, same thing. One tablespoon of guar gum, xanthan gum will do as well. And three large eggs. That's it. Let's make some pasta. So you want to start off with a little bit of corn flour handy, just in case you need to dust off the pasta while you're running it through the pasta machine. Get yourself a large bowl, add all of the dry ingredients in there and whisk them together. Don't forget to add a pinch of salt, always add a pinch of salt. And then once they're all whisked, they're going to act like one ingredient. So now it's time to add your three large eggs. Now you start off with a fork, just get that you know combination together. And once you feel like it's a little bit clumpy, then you can start working it together with your hands and then transfer that over to your clean work surface and begin getting all of this pasta dough together. So you're gonna push it at first, it's gonna seem a little crumbly, but the more that you work it, you're gonna find after three or four minutes, you get this beautiful sort of Play-Doh-esque texture, nice and soft, that's exactly what you want. So it's as simple as that, and really you don't have to let this rest, you can get started right away. So get out a little bit of cornmeal and add that onto a baking sheet. This is where you're gonna store your finished product as you bring it out of the pasta machine. And now you wanna cut this into quarters, working with one quarter at a time and keeping the rest of it wrapped up in you know plastic wrap just to keep it moist and without drying out while you're working on one piece at a time. So to get that first quarter, flatten it out with your hand so it's in a flat enough disc to just to get into the first level of you know, thickness of your pasta machine. And you're gonna be in the business here of trying to make a square. If you've ever made, you know, regular gluten pasta in a machine, you know that it's about getting those two straight edges on either side. So do whatever trick you can and basically work on getting one flat sheet that fits the entire width of your pasta maker. So you can see I still have some, you know, weird scraggly edges there and I keep on going until I've got almost a flat edge on both sides. Once I do, in the last fold here, I think I managed to get a full square. That's when you want to start the process of reducing the thickness on your pasta maker until the point where you just don't feel quite comfortable anymore. Get this as thin as possible. So you can see I've got a nice thin sheet there. I went a little bit too far. I'm starting to get those straggly edges again. Once you get there, that's when you want to chop it in half and work with half piece strands of your gluten-free pasta. And you can see, there you go. That's exactly the right length. Now it's time to switch over to the other side of your pasta machine and start cranking out noodles. This is tagliatelle size, depending on the machine you've got. You can have spaghetti, linguine. Look at that beautiful, soft noodles. And you just give them a little twist, put them on your cornmeal laden baking sheet and rinse and repeat. Keep on going until you run out of pasta. So this recipe should give you eight of these nice little rounds of fresh gluten-free pasta, and you can basically let those dry out overnight, store them in the freezer, and guys, trust me, once you've eaten this homemade gluten-free pasta, you will never go back. Buen apetito. So there you go, the secrets of gluten-free pasta revealed. It's really not that hard. You see how simple it is? Just a couple of ingredients, the right tools for the job, and the right mix, 
And there you go. You've got yourself a wonderful homemade treat that you can have all year long. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Three great videos coming out every single week. One based on allergen-friendly cooking, gluten-free and dairy-free and such. Another one based on international cuisine, sort of setting the theme for all the other videos of the week. And a third recipe video based on healthy recipes because we should all be living our best life possible. And guys, be sure to check out my podcast every single week, the IC Podcast, available on all the major networks, including Apple Podcasts. Just search up Impulsive Culinarian, and I'm sure you'll find me, guys. I will catch you in the next video.